Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do a little bit different segment. This is going to be called Man Cave Mondays. And Man Cave Mondays is all about just hanging out in my man cave and going over some gear, equipment, maybe some special projects I'm working on. So a variety of things to look forward to. <clears throat> Today's segment we're going to talk about a couple of cook kits or I guess brew kits I would call them more specifically um, that I got from Lost Wild Outdoors and I wanted to show those to you because I think they're they're pretty neat and um, they may give you some ideas of how to put together your own brew kit. Now when I talk about a brew kit um, I'm talking about something that you would carry with you on a day hike um, possibly an overnighter but it's really intended to while you're on the trail to cook up a quick coffee or maybe some ramen or something just to get you going. It's not really a full-blown cook kit. You're not doing um, meals or anything elaborate, but you're boiling water, making coffee, uh, doing some instant kind of stuff like um, MRE, or not MREs, but <clears throat> doing instant stuff like um, like a mountain house meal, something like that. Something that you're going to do quick and easy. It's not going to uh, require you to bring out all your big cook gear. So that's what we're going to look at today so stick around all right here's a couple kits um, that i put together from parts and pieces uh, from lost wild outdoors um, you can also find the stuff on other online retailers um, don't necessarily have to have, get your stuff from lost wild but i work with them as an amb product ambassador they send me a lot of stuff and i get to you know play with these things so i'll show you what i have and what i think you know what makes these things so great i think there's some really nice economical options in these kits so you don't have to spend a ton of money to have a nice little cook set with you First while you're out of the trail is this water bottle kit and if anybody is a follower of the five c's or ten c's we all know that a stainless steel container is really important for boiling water and having something available that can do that for you so either having a water bottle that can do that and this is a nalgene stainless steel bottle um this is probably one of the first stainless steel bottles that I saw come out on the market that became really popular back when I first started doing bushcraft and out, you know, wilderness type uh, travel stuff. And they still make these. You can get these at Lost Wild. These are heavy duty. It is not thin. It's good, tough construction. The lanyard that holds the lid on comes off, so you can get rid of that. But it's a really nice water bottle and I've never had any issues with these leaking. I've never seen one burst um, or crack or anything like that. So these are what I would consider almost the gold standard of stainless steel water bottles if you really want to get a nice one. The Nalgene one is, is perfect for that and it nests so perfectly with this, this cup which is from Camp. Ding. See that? This cup can also get it lost wild. What's nice about the Ollie Camp cup is it, just like the, the bottle, it's heavy duty. This is not a thin cup. It doesn't bend. Um, it has graduation marks on the inside as well as the outside. So you can tell how much water you're going to hold, which is really perfect for cooking. And then the Ollie Camp cups don't come with a lid, but if you need a lid, There's one. This is from Lost Wild. This is their universal cup lid. Fits that perfectly. Nice tight seal. Yep. So nice option right there. And then to round off this thing um, is this cook stand. And you can see this has the old Canteen Shop logo on it as well as the Pathfinder logo. These are both sold at, at uh, Lost Wild and Pathfinder. And what's nice about these are, if you've never used these, I've used them in campfires quite a bit because what they do is in a campfire situation, it, it allows you to do a level platform and you can just stick this right in the middle of the coals while all this other stuff around you is going on and then place your cup and you have a nice level um, cooking surface um, in a bigger fire. And if you're doing any kind of community cooking, 
with a group of guys you're out camping everybody's trying to get their stuff cooked um, these little stands really come in handy I use my canteen one quite a bit with my canteen sets in the past so I know they work and then the other option too is they make for a great stand if you have like a small cat stove or pot can stove they're just about the right height or you can of course build a twig fire or use espit tabs or something like that underneath this and, and you have a nice platform for your cup, good solid platform. So that's one option. Now another option is this kit right here in this bag you can actually purchase at Lost Wild. Um, this is their canteen bag and it's it's really kind of a nice little bag because it has so many pockets and everything that it fits a canteen kit or a water bottle kit really perfectly it's fairly inexpensive for what you get so if you're looking at you know purchasing one of those very expensive mother canteen carriers and getting the whole setup and you just can't justify spending that kind of money this is an option for you this will you know it's made overseas but it is the quality seems to be pretty decent and what I like about this is is how much stuff I can fit into this thing. So let's look down in here. So I've got a Nalgene Oasis Canteen. Of course I've got my canteen cup. And then there's that canteen stand that I was talking about great using this in the fire you look in here there are two pockets one in the back this holds my uh, titanium Vargo spoon and on this side holds the canteen lid Front pocket. It's pretty deep. Let me here. I got a small microfiber towel just to wipe down my pot when I'm done with it. Small bag of coffee singles, and um, I've mentioned this before in other videos in the past, but I think it's worth mentioning again. If you use a canteen cup or um, even um, that Ollie Camp bottle cup, get yourself one of these. This is from Snow Peak, and this is called a Hot Lips. And if you're drinking out of metal containers because um, you don't want to pack an extra cup, these things work great. So you just slip them on. And now you won't burn your lips when you're drinking coffee out of your canteen cup. And that way you don't have to carry a bunch of extra cups. So it's a, it's a really lightweight option. I think they come in a two-pack. So I've got a couple. I've got these floating all over my kits. I always have them in my cook kits. They're just nice to have. So if you can find those online, check them out. And, of course, a butane lighter. I keep mine with a zip tie around it so it doesn't discharge in the bag. And then this handy little container, got this at Lost Wild too. This is um, so basically a waterproof match safe, but it's nice and big, so you can put a lot of stuff in here. I've got some cotton balls, put it with petroleum jelly on them. There's an extra striker. Got regular matches, and then I've also got a waterproof match in there as well, and a birthday candle that is um it's a trick one you can't blow it out so that's kind of a nice option to have something different so a variety of ways of making fire so this turns into kind of a mini waterproof fire kit i can throw that right in my bag now the sides of this bag are covered in molly webbing but also there's the one inch webbing so that'll uh, you know you can attach an Alice pouch to this pretty easily. On this side I've got um, a multi-tool. <clears throat> then you flip this around 
and the back of it has a pocket as well as well as molly straps so you want to strap this to a bigger backpack you can that way if you're going on let's say a two or three day trip and you want to take your canteen set with you because that's what you primarily cook out of that can attach to the side of your backpack and then when you get there detach it and now you have your cook kit for you while you're in camp now back here i use the um or i put my lost wild pocket grill it's just a nice little stainless steel grill heavy duty it's not going to bend or warp but it fits it fits in the back of this pocket perfectly and I can just strap that down and it's not going to go anywhere so really nice little uh, cook set in this bag I really like this bag I think it um, it does a great job of holding all the necessities um, for campfire cooking for a brew kit I mean this this thing can become your kit or your bag that you're gonna take out for the day replacing your haversack if you don't want to take a bunch of stuff with you and all you want to do is bring water in a canteen cup so you can brew some coffee on the trail this is a great bag for that you don't have to carry a lot of extra stuff so there's enough room in here to put a few essentials I mean I don't even have this thing stuffed yet <clears throat> but certainly there's enough room in here for a good size survival kit or fire kit um, would fit in here perfectly there's room inside this bag up here to stuff a ba couple bandanas um, some food pack that around the the canteen and then it closes up with a really nice heavy duty buckle so it's not going to open up on you on the trail great option okay some of the features that i really like on this canteen cup as opposed to some of the other ones on the market is is that right there you've got nice graduation marks on the inside so you can read them um, also this butterfly handle i think is probably the most comfortable out of all the canteen style handles that are out there um, I guess this isn't butterfly, this is considered a T-handle. Butterfly are like the, more like the traditional military kits. This is an old style handle, but it has a nice lock on it. Put that down. And then that little T is very comfortable. It keeps your hand away from the heat it's not going to fold up on you so if you put this in the fire you got a handle that's going to stick out and you can grab it you don't have to worry about that that butterfly handle folding it back around and trying to pick that up um, when it's hot you've got something that's that's uh, sturdy and locks into place i gotta clean mine off it's starting to get black but um really heavy duty stainless steel so it's going to last um, not too heavy and then of course the the stand once again canteen shop pathfinder sold it both now this is lost wild of course they've changed their name but the same deal you can use this um, with a espit stove or a trangia stove and underneath this you can use it as a twig stove or you can put it right down inside a, a big bed of coals on a camp, open campfire and you've got a nice sturdy stand for your canteen cup. And last but not least, I, I, I thought I should show the Stanley pot. And the only reason I'm going to show you this is, um, is because it works so well with the Alley Camp stainless steel cup. It nests on there perfectly. So now I have a pot stand, a cup, and a cook pot. I have three things all nested perfectly in here. And these will fit inside this bag as well. Or if you don't want to use the, the Stanley pot, put the Nalgene in there. Now you've got a nice heavy duty cook kit ready to go. All right, so I hope you enjoyed um, a new, the new edition of Man Cave Mondays. Um, hopefully we'll be coming back with some more of these episodes if these work out. Um, I think it's kind of a fun way of just looking at gear and talking about pr special projects, stuff that I can, I can certainly do in the field, but it's a little bit easier in the indoors and I can bring out more stuff to show you instead of trying to pack it all out in the woods and show you. Of course, this stuff is always in use when I'm out on the trail, and you get, you'll get to see that in upcoming videos, but... 
I think it's always great to do kind of a tabletop presentation so you can actually look at things a little bit closer and in depth and get an idea of what I'm talking about and then we'll go out and do reviews in the field and show you how I use them outside but um, I'm hoping I can maybe do this segment every Monday I think that would be a lot of fun um, I just got to come up with more topics so if you have ideas of stuff you want to talk about or you want to see me do let me know leave your comments down below as always, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.